As far back as I can remember, I've been living here on this dark island, always guarding the Master Emerald from anything that could harm it. I don't know why I was given this job, why it was my fate, destined to be here forever. What the? What's going on here? Oh no! Something's happened to the Master Emerald! Huh? Who are you? Did you do this? Oh, I'll get you for this! I've never seen anything like it. Oh no, it's starting to happen. Without the Master Emerald's power, this whole island will fall into the ocean. pieces of the Master Emerald. It won't be easy. Pieces flew off everywhere. Guess I better start looking anywhere I can. Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure. The last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and ended off Tails' story. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and get into Knuckles' story, who, uh, I'll be honest, I don't remember too much about his story. Uh, I don't have my notes with me at the moment. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into our first level, which is Radical, or Speed Highway. What's Radical Highway? But anyways, we're not going to be doing the cool nighttime section, we're in the daytime section. And... Knuckles' gameplay is very different from Sonic and Tails'. Whereas before we were, you know, getting to the end of the level and stuff like that, now we're looking all over the Emerald for the Master Emerald pieces. Because as those who have played Sonic 3 and Knuckles, or I guess watched the opening cutscene know, whenever the Master Emerald isn't in the altar, it falls to the ground. And you can't have that. So... There's our first uh, Emerald piece. For those of who have only played the sequel, don't worry. It's a lot easier in uh, the knuckle. The uh, knuckle stages are a lot easier in this game than they are in the sequel because because when it comes to the Emerald radar, for some reason in the second game. They decided to make it so that only one emerald is shown at the time on the radar. Like, you see how the emerald is flashing green and stuff like that? If you're near multiple emeralds in this game, you know, multiple things will go off showing you where everything is. But when it comes to the sequel to this game, Sonic Adventure 2, they only showed one of those radars at a time. So you have to go around searching the entire level each time you're looking for an individual emerald piece, which sucks. You get that life real quick. And while I'm just casually going around here searching for stuff, you ever have your parents, you know, sing a, the lyrics to a song throughout your entire childhood? And, you know, that song just becomes ingrained in your mind, but you don't really, like, listen to the actual song. And then, years later, 
you actually find that song again and you listen to it, and it's actually like a really good song. Because that happens to me personally, I'll share a couple examples on screen. It can always be a bit embarrassing when uh, sharing your music tastes. Because to what one person may find a really well put together song with lots of soul into it that, you know, is something that you listen to a lot, to another person can just be like annoying noise. So. Be kind when it comes to my music tastes. Where is this lap? Oh, I think it's in this enemy. Yep, got it. Why am I over here now? This is sort of just all over the place for this episode. Good enough. Which kind of suits this? One thing that'll make this playthrough of Knuckles' story super interesting is that with Tails' story, we're just kind of going through the same things and occasionally finding some differences. But with Knuckles, in Sonic and Tails' stories, we only met up with him like once or twice. So we get to see what's going on behind the scenes, why Knuckles got tricked by Eggman again, and why he was on Eggman's side, even though we saw chaos break to break apart the master emerald so our next stage is pretty interesting i always forget that knuckles has this stage casinopolis so with sonic with sonic we use the light speed dash to get up to the button with tails we would fly with knuckles one special ability that he has is he can cling to walls and using his glide ability, we can just float on over to the button. If you... If, you know, I was competent. Okay. One sec. There we go. Stage numero dos. Casinopolis. Okay, so we want to start searching over here. Also, an interesting thing to note is that right over here we have a statue of Sonic. I think that actually is something that you can unlock when you're playing as Sonic in this stage. Oh, hey, look. But, uh, I forgot to mention it because I forgot about it completely <laughs> when I went through here as Sonic. I forget the exact requirements, but I'll put them up on screen. Let's see. One place that uh, is interesting that you'll have to look for the emeralds is you'll see there's this little crack in Sonic's shoe. And if you punch it, the whole statue breaks apart, and sometimes you can find a Master Emerald piece. So we've already found two of them, of the dang things. Now we're on the hunt for the third one, which. Usually takes me a good while to find. Never mind! We're going through this a lot faster than I normally do. Huh. Good enough. Where in the world am I? I don't remember being here before. But something about it... is familiar. Hmm... This is very strange. So it seems like Knuckles has some sort of deep connection with this place. You have no idea what fighting is all about, you just attack. I like fighting. Actually, I love fighting. That guy just went through those stairs. Hold on, play that again. He just walked up here and then phased through the stairs. 
But yeah, it seems that the echidnas are here, and Knuckles seems to have some sort of recollection of this place, and it looks sort of like the uh, ruins from Mystic Ruins. Seven emeralds are essential to our survival. It is for the good of all our people. How can I make you understand? Attacking other countries, stealing and killing can't be the right path to peace. No one has the right to take their holy grounds. I beg you, Father. Now where am I? Back in Station Square, I see. What's going on here anyway? So a couple things to know. First of all, over here we can see after getting attacked by... <laughs> after getting attacked by Dr. Eggman, Sonic and Tails are just over here on the floor. Second of all, uh, Tikal's father, Pachakamak. Quick question. Does... Are his eyes yellow, or... Does he... Just always close his eyes? Because before, I thought that he just had yellow eyes. That didn't have any, like, pupils or anything like that. But now, looking at it on, uh, this screen. Uh, up in my room. Uh, it looks like he's just closing his eyes. But... I'm pretty sure every time we see him, his eyes are always closed. Maybe, I know he appears in Sonic X, the uh, cartoon. So maybe in that, he opens his eyes, uh, but I'll have to look through that and see. Hey, it's Dr. Eggman. What's he got there? Gotta be a part of the Master Emerald. Hold on! Come back here! Eggman, give me back the Master Emerald. N Knuckles! Oh, this isn't what you're after! You're right. That's okay, though. I can use you as a guinea pig to test it. Chaos! Chaos! Chaos? It's that creature again. The same one I saw on my island. He was there when the Master Emerald shattered. I'm sure of it. He saved me the trouble of looking for him. Now I'll get him good. To go, Chaos. Ha, changing shape won't scare me. Fine, give it your best shot. Chaos 2, a form that we haven't seen yet. So, with this, he starts just bouncing around. And then you just want to dodge his attacks, and then it'll be clear when he becomes vulnerable. Now, something that I haven't thought about until very, like, just now, like, just a couple seconds ago. This is when he's vulnerable, by the way. Uh, something interesting is that the way that Eggman gets Knuckles on his side is because the Chaos Emerald that uh, Eggman took was the Silver Emerald, which causes uh, Knuckles to be like, oh, oh, okay, he's not after the Master Emerald. And then when he we see Sonic, Knuckles is like, oh, he must have a part of the Master Emerald. And so Knuckles goes after him, and when Knuckles and Sonic fight, 
Sonic drops, you know, his two emeralds. Sonic drops his two emeralds, and then he, uh, and then Eggman comes in, he just so happens to come in and steal those. So now I'm wondering, was this a part of, like, I'll have to look at it again, but was it the Ice Cap, uh, emerald that was green, or was it the Windy Valley emerald that was green? Because Eggman took the, the gray one from, uh, Casinopolis, and you know what, I'll finish my thought in a minute. Sonic is after the Master Emerald. I better work fast and get to the bottom of this. Hey guys, it's me from the future, and I just wanted to come in here real quick because I was explaining a theory of mine, but I didn't really explain it well, so I thought I'd come in and try to explain it more clearly. So my theory goes that basically from the Egg Hornet boss fight to the Chaos 4 boss fight, Eggman had pretty much everything planned out, and I'll try to explain. So after the Egg Hornet boss fight, Eggman goes off somewhere, but we don't know where. At first I assumed Station Square, but then I thought about it and I realized that maybe he went to Ice Cap, and he could have just gone to the end and then gotten the Emerald, but I think that he had this master plan where he left the green emerald there because he knew that if he took it and he ran into Knuckles, Knuckles would think that he was going after the master emerald and then Knuckles would defeat Eggman. However, Eggman left that there and I'm thinking that he took the ice cap key because at the end of Casinopolis, when Sonic and Tails exit, the ice cap key just falls from the sky, and I was like, huh, that's just, that's a bit weird. But now that I'm thinking about it, right after it falls from the sky, Eggman appears. And so I'm thinking, what if Eggman dropped that emerald. key and then stole an emerald from Sonic and Tails, and then he left and he entered the hotel with the silver or the gray emerald sorry and then he waited for knuckles to enter so that knuckles would chase after him but then eggman could just be like oh i'm on your side i didn't steal the emerald and then he I could test out chaos on knuckles emerald. and then after that he says go to the mystic ruins and so knuckles goes to the mystic ruins and since sonic and tails saw the key the ice cap key, they also go to the Mystic Ruins, go through ice cap, get the green emerald, so that when Knuckles and Sonic finally meet, Knuckles is like, oh, you stole a piece of the emerald. He knocks into Sonic, and then Sonic loses his emeralds, and then Eggman shows up, just out of nowhere. So I don't know if this is something incredibly obvious, or if it's something that I'm just, that no one's thought about or maybe i'm just really reaching for a theory but whatever that's the end of this episode so thank you guys so much for watching in the next episode we're gonna go ahead and 
do some stuff, we're gonna go ahead and fight against Sonic, and that'll be pretty cool. And then we'll have to fight against Chaos 4, which will be significantly less cool. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!